Alright guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to achieve realistic bump mops on your uh, surfaces like a number plate like this. As you can see I have a bump map going on and I made everything myself. So I'm going to teach you guys step by step how to create your own license plate or any surface you want to create a bump map of just to save yourself the time of having to create the actual geometry for that surface. Okay, so this is going to be awesome. Alright, so to do this we're going to open up Blender. Obviously we're going to use Blender. And let's just get rid of the splash screen, delete everything else in the scene. And then what we're going to do is let's go online. Okay. So now this method you can use for many services, not just license plate, but I kind of thought the license plate is a good example to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in license plate template. All right. So license plate like this. So just type in license plate and you're going to get a vector image right here. So just get that vector image. Just a sample of any license plate you want to you want to create, maybe this, maybe that, whichever one you want to make. But I'm gonna go with the easier one, which is this, and I'm just gonna click on image and then save us image. Save it wherever you want to save it, and then while we're here online, we can go ahead and then download a font. Okay, so we're just gonna type in here license plate, license plate font. All right. So once you type that in, it's gonna give you a few websites where you can get these license plate font. You can go in here and it's going to show you a few license plate fonts you can download. You can see there's multiple ones, but I went ahead and downloaded this one because this one actually looked a lot better. So just download it by clicking on here and it's going to give you the zip file. Just extract it and put it wherever you want to put it. And then we can go ahead and then begin the modeling. So first thing I want to do is to get into front view and then let's press shift in A and then go over to image and then image as planes. Now, if you don't have the image as planes option here, go ahead and then enable it in your add-ons preference menu, all right? Then it's gonna show up there. And then let's load in that vector image. So I'm just, I think I have it saved up in on desktop right here. So just gonna load in that vector image and let's go into material preview. And this is what we have, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna press shift in A and then add in a mesh plane. So A, shift A, mesh plane. And let me just move that mesh plane so it's not on the same level as that plane over there. And in edit mode, uh, in edit mode, I'm just going to scale this up in the Z axis. Okay, all the way to some point here. And let's move it up a bit. And we're just, we're just going to fit it onto the, onto the image that we have behind it, just pretty close enough, like that. So I'm just going to go scale it up just a bit more. And I want to scale it in the X axis, all the way down to about some point like that. And I think that should be good. All right. Now, uh, what we're going to do now is let me take the whole thing. All right. I think this this thing is not this piece is not showing. So let me just move it behind it, just so we can see it much better like that. All right. So let's go into edit mode. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to insert it a bit. So I'm just going to press shift in A and add in a text object, so text, and then we're going to type in whatever we're going to put in, whatever name we're going to put in there. So what I'm going to put there is, uh, let me say, freak. So I'm just going to put freak in there. And then I'm going to go over to the uh, text tab over here. And I want to change this to center and then change this as well to center. And then let's change the font real quick. So I'm going to click on the font tab here and I want to change the font by clicking over here. And then let's go over where we saved the font. So I have mine on my desktop and in Blender, I mean fonts for Blender, and it's right here. All right, so now I'm gonna scale it down. I'm gonna scale the size down until it's about the same size as what we have in there. So let me just press G and then Z and move this up to about here so it's in the center. And I'm basically just going to fit it with the text we have in there. All right, once we've done that, I'm just gonna duplicate this object. It's duplicated right now. I'm going to press G and then move that over here. Now that up, that other font is not showing because it's behind the plane, but it's there. And I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to scale this font size down to about the same size as the Ireland text we have over there. So the IRL is going to put it about the same size. And this is where the country goes. So I'm just going to type GH, okay, which is my country. That's Ghana. All right. So once we've done that, what we can do now is to take the plane again. That's the plane behind it. And let's get on over to the front view. And let's go into edit mode. So we're just going to steal one of these vertex here. I'm just going to press shift in D and then steal it. Let's just move it over here like this. 
and I'm just going to draw out the star. I'm just going to trace it out. All right, so now once we've done that, what we can do is just press F, and I'm just going to press Shift and D, and then duplicate all of them around. All right, very nice. So this is all that we need for the main thing. So now we can go ahead and then start making the actual text string for this. So I'm, I'm, I went ahead and then deleted the reference image that we had behind it. And now we can go ahead and start adding in the, uh, the materials for this. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to add in the first material, which I'm going to call white. And I'm going to be using emission for this. So I'm going to set this to emission. And I'm going to set the amount to 2. Just 2 should be good. And let's go into material preview and see what this looks like. All right, it came out great. Now I'm going to add in a new one, which I'm going to call black. All right, and now this is just going to be a diffuse. So I'm going to go with the diffuse. And I'm going to set it completely to black. And let me go into edit mode. And I'm going to go into face select mode. And select all the faces in the middle here. And assign that to it. Okay, so just like that. And what I'm going to do now is to add in a new one again. And we're going to call this blue. Okay, so this is going to be blue. And again, it's going to be an emission. And... We're going to set the color to blue. Whatever shade of blue you want, you can set it to that. And uh, of course, the emission amount to 2. And then we can assign that to this face over here. So assign. All right, so everything is coming out great. Now we're going to take this one over here. I'm just going to assign the black to it, like this. And we're going to take this one over here. And we're going to assign the white to that one. Or oh, is it black? I think it was white, right? Let me go over to image explains again just to see it. Yeah, it was white. So we're going to keep that as white. And I'm going to take the stars that we have in the middle here, which are exactly the same mesh as this one right here. Let me just press B to separate it. And then we can take that one. And let me just move it a bit in the Y axis. And now we're going to give that a blue. So I'm just going to set or add in a new material. And I'm just going to say yellow, not blue. Did I say blue? I meant yellow. So we're going to give it a yellow. And of course, again, it's emission. So emission. No. Emission. Now we're going to set it up to yellow. So whatever shade of yellow you want, just set it to it. Now we're going to set the amount to 2. And now we can go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. All right, looking good. So this is what we came up with. Now we can go ahead and add in a camera. Let's just add in a camera real quick. I'm going to press G and Y and move this out to about here. And let's just get into the view of the camera. Let me pull this up in the Z axis. And I'm going to change the type here to orthographic for the camera. And I'm going to zoom in with this orthographic view here. Just zoom in like that. And let's go over to the resolution here. And let's drop down the resolution just so it is close enough to it. Just like that. I'm just going to move the camera in the Z axis a bit. Let me increase the resolution a bit. All right, so this is what we have so far. Now we can go ahead and render this out, and I'm just going to render it out at a hundred samples right here with EV. And I'm going to go ahead and then check transparent down here in the film tab over here, just to make sure we don't render the background. So you can click on render and then render image. All right, so this is what we have. I'm going to go to image and then save this image as whatever file type I want to save it for. So I'm just going to save it as freak, and I'm just going to save it as image. All right, now what we're going to do is to also create a black and white image for this uh, for this image over here. Okay, so we're just going to create a black and white uh, channel for this. So I'm just going to go into edit mode. Oh, let me take this piece over here. And let me go into edit mode. And uh, we're just going to keep this one here. We're going to keep it white. So I'm just going to assign white to that one. And I want to take the text object here. And I want to assign black to it. I want to take the stars as well and then assign a black to it. So these black areas that we are assigning are the areas that is going to bump out to make it look like it actually has a, uh, it's actually pulling out to make it look like it, it has geometry to it, something like that. So that's pretty much it. And what we can do is to just go ahead and then click on render and then render image. So this is what we have, but you can see the edges of these, uh, the edges here, that's the edges that form the, the each of these letters or whatever we're seeing in here is actually very sharp and we don't want that. We want it to be uh, sort of small, uh, smooth or blurred out just so the bump can come out more naturally. Okay, so we're going to go into the compositing note, a uh, compositing tab over here and we're going to use notes right here and we're going to add in a blur. All right. And I want to set the value for the X and Y to be just five. And let's take a look at what this looks like. Alright, so you can see I just blurred it out a bit just to make it look more natural. 
And I'm going to go into render and then view render. And I'm going to set this to the viewer node. And I want to save that image as well as freak. But this time I'm going to set it as blur. All right. And then save as image. All right. So with that done, we have everything we need to start texturing the main thing. So I open up a new blend file. And I'm going to go to the front view. I'm going to press shift and A and then go to image, images as planes. And I'm going to load in that new image that we created, which is this one right here. So I'm just going to load that in. And let's take a look, what, a look at what that looks like. And this is what we have so far. Looking good. All right. Now we need to make this look like it has a it has a bump to it. So let's go over to the shader editor right here. And let me just take this and pull it out. I'm going to press Control T to add in a mapping. And uh, let me just remove this. Okay. So I just want that to be black or whatever color. And now what I'm going to do is to take this. We're just going to shift and D this. And let me take this too and press F just to fill in that thing. And I'm going to click on this and then let's open up that freak black and white blur image that we created. And we're going to add in a bump node. All right. So bump. And I'm going to set the color into the height. And not that it matters, but let's just change this. Oh my God, this cocks. Not that it matters, but let's just change this color space here to non color. All right. Even though it's still black and white, it doesn't make any difference. And I'm going to set this into the normal. And this is where the magic happens. And there we go. All right, so you can see if you pull up, if you pull out a bit, you can see it, it kind of looks like it's pulling out, or should I say it's actually pulling in. So you can go ahead and click on an invert button here just to make it look as though it is pulling out instead of inward. And that kind of gives us the bump that we need. You can control it with the uh, strength over here if you drop it down to 0.5, it's going to reduce the bump a bit more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can use this trick on any kind of surface you need. And uh, you don't have to create every texture yourself. Maybe you went online and downloaded the texture, which I'm going to show you real quick. Let's say you went online and downloaded the texture. So I'm going to go to image. Well, let me press shift and A and then add an image. Image as planes. So I basically downloaded this online. So I'm going to load that in. And then I created a black and white image for this, which was quite tricky, but I'm not going to show that here. I'm just going to use the black and white image. So what we can do now is to just let's remove the alpha over here. And let's duplicate this. All right. And then we can set the black and white image that you create out of the texture you downloaded. We're going to set that in here. And we're going to add in the bump node All right in here. And we're just going to set this to height. Come on. We're just going to set this to height. And then we're going to set this into the normal. And that's pretty much it. So you can see it kind of looks like it's bumping out. And it's going to drop the power, I mean, the strength down to something like 0.5. And it kind of looks fake. It's a fake you know, kind of bump out, just tweak this a bit to look even better. So I'm just going to make it a bit metallic and I'm going to drop the roughness to something like 0.2. And yeah, maybe you could go with full metallic. If you go with full metallic, this is the look you're going to have. So you can see pretty much looks like it has some kind of bump to it. If I remove this right now, you can see it's just flat, just flat, nothing to it. But if you set that into it without geometry, it's just going to look like it, it's bumping out and it kind of helps a bit. If it, and again, if it's bumpy inside and you don't want it to bump inside, you want it to bump outside, you can just click on this invert button here. And it's going to invert it out and just maybe kind of look like it, it's bumping out instead of in, inward. And yeah, uh, that's the tutorial I have for you guys today. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to end it. Hopefully you learned something out of this and you don't end up creating geometry for every single thing you have and save yourself the time to actually do that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.